everyone, how are you? Welcome back. I have been tagged a few times by the um, 10 things that make us pretty tag. Now normally I don't do many of these tags. I've only did a couple of them because I feel like I feel like it's the same thing over and over again, you know. Um, how many dogs have you had in your lifetime? Uh, you know, how many have died on you? I just, I think everybody knows enough about me that's in my videos. And apart from that, I don't feel the need to do the tags that divulge my stupid little quirks, you know. I think that pretty much I'm, I'm like an open book in my videos, so there's no point in it, right? <laughs> so anyways, uh, this is the 10 things that make you feel pretty, and I think that this is a good tag. I think they're, I think it's cute, and so I'm going to do it. So, I've got a pretty big hodgepodge of things here, but let me just start out with when I exercise. There's no way that I can really, you know, there's nothing I could really show you, but when I exercise, I, I feel just completely empowered in general. There's nothing, nothing on this vanity, there's nothing at my station in town, there's nothing that I can put on my face or my body, not shoes, clothes, anything, that make me feel as good as when I have... I'm done doing a workout. That makes me feel beautiful. Okay, so that's number one. And I'm marking it off the list as I go, or I'll forget. <laughs> number two is my skincare. Uh, whatever it may be, I swear I could just sit here. Sometimes at night, I overload my skin up so bad that I have to go wash my face and start over because I'll just be like, ooh, a little bit of that. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit of that tonight. And six products later, then I've got little, you know, little, uh, little bars of sand rolling off my cheeks. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I end up putting so much stuff on that it, you know, starts to roll off. And, of course, that's not good. I'm just so into skincare that it makes me feel beautiful. And every time I'm using it, I feel like I'm doing such a good thing for myself that it makes me feel beautiful. Okay? All right. Number three, masking. You know who's going to be on there? Um, I love doing my masks. I know everybody teases me about it. You know, here at home anyways. Not here on, you know, on YouTube. It's like a, a cult thing, but... Here at home, I get teased about it a lot. I love, love to mask. I I like how my my skin looks after I'm done masking. I love the pampered feeling when I'm doing it. Um, I love, love, love to mix my own masks up with my essential oils and my clays. I just I love everything about it. it I find I find masking just as relaxing and almost therapeutic as when I'm doing makeup. I feel the same way about it as a matter of fact. I could have just as easily been, you know, an esthetician as opposed to a makeup artist, just as easily. So yeah, masks. Even these goofy little ones here that are made for your lips or to go around your mouth. <laughs> it's pretty neat in it. Okay. Teeth. Keeping my teeth the best that condition that I can keep them in for the obstacles that I battle makes me feel pretty. Plain and simple. I know that another look a little bit shoddy from where you're standing, but for everything that I've been through, um, the physical relationship that was very, very bad, you know, the lupus, I've always taken immaculate care of my teeth, but since, uh, you know, in the last few years or so, the lupus has started to make them go a little bit gray, and I'm about to embark on putting down a <laughs> ridiculously painful amount of money to get porcelain caps on them because that makes me feel beautiful. I don't care. It wouldn't matter to me if I had to mortgage my home to do it. And I might. <laughs> whatever, you know, I think I think would any of us would do whatever it takes to make ourselves feel beautiful. And having nice teeth again, or at least having them not, you know, discolored like they are, is what is going to make me feel more confident and more beautiful. So, teeth. This thing I held up was all my teeth whitening stuff. Anyways, uh, it was kind of a prop for the teeth thing. Okay, and what is that? One, two, three. Four things. Okay, so number five. Let me mark this off. Number five. One of my subscribers turned me on to this. 
it is topics and it is a product that you you put it right next to the crown of your head and just move it around it's kind of like a little deodorant it, it well it's not it just looks like it and it's got these little holes in the top and a, a whole bunch of little microfibers come out that are colored to your hair and I can put this right on my skull like this and move it around in the areas that are kind of bare and it covers it beautifully. Julie, her name's Julie too. I can't tell you thank you and love. Gone is the little brush with the Joan Rivers powder and oh my gosh. When Julie told me about this, how I haven't known about this in the last couple of years, I've been suffering a little bit of hair loss. No, a lot of hair loss. Who am I kidding? I can't believe I didn't know about this. And I had to look it up to see how to use it because when I first got it, I'm holding it like a foot from my head and of course that didn't work. So if you know what this stuff is, you know how ridiculous holding it way up here and tapping it was. You don't do that. You put it right against the hair and move it around like that. And it, it's just really cool and it looks natural and I am loving it. Kind of pricey, but oh well, there is no cost to cover my bald spots. I do not care. Okay, and number six, my hair care again. My shampoos and conditioners, I don't know why, but anytime I buy a new one that I have heard about perhaps on YouTube or anything like that, I have to go down and get it and come straight home and take a shower. <laughs> I, I know I'm not the only one that does that. And I'll do the same thing with makeup too. And I'm going to come home and wash my face and, you know, take a whole face of makeup off just to try this new product I got. Well, I'm the same way with my hair. When I buy a new product that, you know, people have raved about, especially people that I trust and respect, I just gotta try it. And these two products here, well, it's just one, but it, well, it's two, but it's the shampoo and conditioner in one line. And it is the Matrix Biolage Fiber Strong. Um, what is it? It's the Bamboo Fiber Strong. And I heard about this from one of uh, Michelle over at Makeup MLC's favorites, uh, monthly favorites. She got it from Tammy, which I see in Tammy's most current video. She is also having this as one of I think it empties or something but she just raves about it but I went out and purchased this after I watched Michelle's video and I have seen an incredible of reduction in hair loss that I have been you know dealing with now all of these little hairs that I'm the little bitty hairs I got growing out that I should not have grown out because I have not cut my hair <laughs> in years but I got a bunch of little short hair well, now they're like staying where they are supposed to be in those little barren spots. And I attribute it to this because I was having really bad problems with having to clean my tub drain out like every week, at least once a week. It would get so clogged with my hair. So I am so, so happy when that I have found this and it makes me feel beautiful knowing that I may soon have a normal head of hair again. Or even just not seeing it in the drain makes me feel better, you know? Um... And that's number six. Number seven, a beautiful makeup period, okay? Just makeup period. But I love a good lippy, and I'm going to be showing these in a haul. I'm The haul ain't for anywhere down the road because I'm going to film it, but I'm not going to put it up yet because I just did one. Even though it wasn't really a haul, it was kind of, you know, the dollar store makeup, but I just did a really good haul. I got a, a bunch of the um, Pixie's new lip blushes. Well, I got three of those. Um... And I got these Pacifica palettes from Target. But makeup. Just makeup in general. I mean, look at how I just almost went off on, and, and you know, totally changed the subject of the video. <laughs> I, I, I think any, any, I think anybody watching this video, really, is going to say the same thing. There is very little on this planet that makes me feel as beautiful as when I am playing with my makeup. When I've bought a new, you know, a new eyeshadow palette, and I've brought it home and played with it, and I just feel, it, it's, a, it's a high for me. It is literally my dope. When I have got, you know, two bags sitting under my desk that I'm trying to hide from my husband, you know. <laughs> what are those, honey? Oh, they're just, now. Oh. They've been there a while. <laughs> I love it. I just, I cannot say enough about it. I love when I get new products, whether it doesn't even matter if I've had them, if I have them, or if they're new. I will still break them open and swatch them. It's stupid, I know, but <laughs> like these things right here. I got them from the Sally Girl, or Sally the other day. They're the Sally Girl um, eyeshadow quad singles. Emily Noel raves about these, and I 
even though the minute I got out to my vehicle after I bought these, and they were all in singles then, I swatched every one of them. <laughs> every one of them, right there in the parking lot. What do I do? I get home, I put them all in these little, you know, I slip them all together because they snap together. And I swatch them again because somehow they're going to look different while they're in a little set instead of, you know, being the singles. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but but I like doing it and it, it, it what makes me feel good and so I do it. Um, you know, same thing with a good foundation. I, I, I think out of all my makeup, out of all the makeup period, a, a good foundation is probably what I get the best feel good feelings out of because there's nothing worse sitting bad on your skin than the foundation. I mean, it covers the whole area and, you know, just a good, good makeup, makeup period. And you, as you can see from my dollar store hauls, it doesn't even matter if it's cheap or good makeup. The real good makeup makes me feel like superwoman, but the cheap makeup even makes me feel good. It's makeup, you know? Okay. So, how many was that? <laughs> Um, okay, nails. I just got done doing, as a matter of fact, I am in the process of putting a set of nails on today. I just got done doing these. I've just gotten these ones all f sanded and filed down. Oh, man, my hands are going to hurt like a mofo tomorrow. Because that's the finished products, and that's the beginning. Like, you can see the difference, I hope. You can see the difference in these. Yeah, look how rough and messed up these look. Oh, it took me about an hour to file all these down like I needed them. I, I never, I never really like to do nails because I just cannot seem to get the little ball steady and, and spread out like it should be. And I just never liked doing nails, but I like having nails. It is something I think that is critical in the overall appearance of a woman is how she, you know, what kind of. Um, hygiene she keeps with her hand, not hygiene, what kind of care she takes with her hands and feet for that matter. I think that it is just critical. And so even though I despise it, I still keep nice nails and I love, love, love having pretty colors on them. So yeah, nails are definitely right up there. I, I love, love having nice hands, period, nice hands. So, yeah, always taking care of my hands. That makes me feel very pretty. A good cologne. Who doesn't feel pretty in a good cologne? Uh, this is one of my all-time faves, faves, which is Dolce & Gabbana. And I think this is just their signature. Dolce & Gabbana with the red cap is my favorite. Um, a good scent. There's nothing better than a good scent. And as long as I'm not tasting it on somebody else. I think it's just as beautiful on another woman or a man. You know, if a woman walks past you in the store or a man and you get that, just that real faint whiff of, mm, and then it's gone, you know, before you have a chance to even really deduce what it was that you just smelled, it's gone already. That is beauty right there. <laughs> And, and I truly, you know, I truly believe that, which is one of the reasons why I almost always end up giving my perfumes to my kids, because I don't use them all up before they start going bad, and I'll give them to them, and of course, you know, they're young girls, they're like, I mean, it, it's like, why don't you just go jump in the tub, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. A good scent used in moderation, I think, is a very beautiful thing on any human. Okay? And I believe that is number nine. I hope that's number nine. I said that, 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 that. Yeah, that's number nine because my makeup, I have it listed as three different items. But it was eyeshadow, lippy, and a foundation. I think those are the most three important things with, you know, and so I individualized those out into three. So that is three instead of one, okay? <laughs> this was really difficult for me, i got to tell you. But my final one. The final thing that makes me feel like a I love my bags too, don't get me wrong, but I love shoes and 
these ones here are some of my go-to shoes and then I grab these out of all the shoes I have because these are the ones that really make me feel like all eyes are on me and it's all favorable <laughs> and these are my Harley Davidson Harley Davidson clogs love the studded detailing and I just I love them I love these shoes it looks like the heel it's this big old you know calf buster and it's not <laughs> but it still gives you the effect of that and my dad growing up I remember my daddy always saying that there's nothing more sexy on a woman even sexier than a, a bikini or a thong or whatever is a woman's legs and butt in a pair of heels because it it firms everything up you know when you're when your legs are walking at that unnatural level the muscles in your thighs and your butt and your calves are all constantly working and ever since he said that to me and I was very young <laughs> mind you ever since he said that to me I cannot help but look at a woman in heels if she's wearing you know something short like skirt a mini skirt or shorts or something like that I can't help admire how right he was it just lifts everything up because of the angle of the you know of the foot so love my heels and these ones are a pair of my faves I couldn't sit here and show you all of them but so I thought I'd pick out the ones that I have already worn since it got warm enough so that is it you guys I hope that I got everything in here um, I just I, I love everything that being a woman in bodies and anything that I do that's womanly makes me feel pretty and more womanly so uh, I tag anyone who wants to do this tag but I would like to see and, and I know everybody that I would tag has either already done it or probably never will to be honest with you um, I did that 10, uh, 10 things that YouTube has taught me the 4T tag and I cannot get anybody to do it um, I take that back Jessica over at Jam Beauty 89 the one of the most loveliest young gals on here I just love her you know, I knew, I knew there was a reason why I liked her so much. She's a teacher, from teachers. I've always, you know, felt endeared to teachers. I loved my instructors in school all through high school, junior high, college. I, I just, it's an incredibly difficult job that they do, and I have the utmost respect. So, um, but I think she may have already done this. But if she didn't, I guess I'll tag her too. Um, but anyways, she's doing, I think she said she's done my 4T tag, and she's got it filmed. She just needs to edit it. Ooh, it makes me so happy, I can't even tell you. Because I think that that would be a really good tag, you know, 10 things YouTube has taught me, especially from the gals that have been here for a long time. It's got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you know. Come on. Do the tag. Come, I mean, what? You're not going to do anything but give helpful information to those of us that are just starting out on YouTube anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it would be a really good tab. It's a lot better than a lot of the ones that I've seen on here. <laughs> you know, really. So anyways, um, I am going to tag a few people that I'm going to look around and make sure that they haven't already done it, you know. But I will tag a few people. But most of all, I want to tag my subscribers. Okay? Down in the comments below, let me know, all of you gals, that I dig you all so much. Um, and t Lynette tagged me, so... Um, yeah, just my subscribers. I would like to see my subscribers write their answers to this thing, you know, their 10, their 10 things that make them look, you know, feel pretty. Put them in my comments below. I would love to read them. And you guys all know that I read them and I answer you back. So, okay. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.